At CSIR Sari, we've developed several innovative crop varieties and agricultural technologies that can significantly boost productivity and improve food security in Ghana. However, many farmers are unaware of these breakthroughs. To bridge this gap, Sari, in partnership with Coraf, has introduced the technology pack. Its goal is to bring these solutions directly to farmers, helping them adopt the innovations and improve their production. In 2024 alone, we are offering 66 technologies, including improved crop varieties, agronomic practices, and soil fertility management techniques. One of the key technologies being showcased at the Technology Park is the introduction of three improved yam varieties, along with an innovative seed yam multiplication strategy. Aside the improved varieties of yam, we are also showcasing the seed yam multiplication strategy. Traditionally, farmers get their seed yams either using the miniset technology or using the milking technology. The multiplication ratio of these two technologies, that is the milking and the miniset, is very low. And to address this challenge, CSI Asare have developed the seed yam multiplication strategy. Just from a single tuber, Using the serial multiplication strategy, one can get about 2,000 seed yams, which makes the multiplication ratio of this strategy very high. And also, we are able to produce disease-free seed yams using the seed yam technology. And because the seed yams that are produced from this strategy are disease-free, the establishment percentage are or is very high when planted on the field. And this translates into increased tuber yield. For sorghum varieties, we have four of them that we are showcasing at the park this year. And the key attributes of these varieties are that one, they have high grain yield potential, the yield potentials of the four ranges from two to about four tons per hectare. And the majority of them, the grain color is white. Then we have one with a grain color being red. These varieties are suitable for use in, the, uh, for, for use in malting and brewing industries. And they are also tolerant to key sogum pest and diseases. The park also showcases four climate-smart soybean varieties, specifically developed to thrive under changing environmental conditions. These varieties not only offer higher yields, but also demonstrate resilience to other climate-related stresses, helping farmers adapt to the challenges of climate change while improving productivity and sustainability in soybean farming. We are showcasing four climate-smart soybean varieties. The key attributes of these varieties are that they are non-shattering. These varieties have excellent grains, which makes them good for use as a, for, for use in the production of soy milk. The varieties are also resistant to key soybean pests and diseases. So for the varieties, we have Fever, we have Jenguma, we have Afayag, and then we have Sopungu. Fever, the yield potential of Fever is about 3 to 3.5 tons per hectare. That of Jenguma is around 2.5 tons per hectare. Then uh, Afayag is 2.2 tons per hectare, and then Sopungu is 1.8 tons per hectare. These varieties also contains high levels of proteins and oil, which makes them excellent for extraction of soil uh, oil. When it comes to granite, this year we are showcasing eight climate smart improved granite varieties at our technology park. Sari no one, Sari no two, Sari no three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The key attributes are that these varieties are high yielding. The yield potential range from about two tons per hectare to about 3.3 tons per hectare. The majority of these varieties are tolerant 
to uh, uh, granite pests and diseases. That is, we have the early and late leaf, leaf spot diseases. Then the, the kennels contain high levels of uh, uh, oil, which makes them suitable for extraction of uh, granite oil. Majority of the varieties are dual peppers. That is, you can use the leaves after harvesting as fodder for animals. We're also showcasing five improved varieties of pearl millets with a yield potential ranging from 2 to 2.6 tons per hectare. These varieties are tailored to increase productivity and resilience, offering farmers more reliable harvests even in challenging growing conditions. These five varieties are climate smart or climate resilient. So the first one is Wap Nara with a yield potential of 2.1 tons per hectare. This variety takes about 80 days to mature. It is drought tolerant and dual purpose. Then this variety is resistant to downy mildew of millet. Then we have Nat Koblok. The yield potential is 2.0 tons per hectare. The maturity days is 75. It is tolerant to drought. It has brist bristles on the head, and as such, it is resistant to bed damage. We also have variety Akatkob with yield potential of 2 tons per hectare. The maturity period is 70 days. That is, it is early maturing. It is tolerant to drought, and it has short, compact head. Then we have variety Kinati. The yield potential is 2.0 tons per hectare. The maturity period is 70 days. This variety is also tolerant to drought, which makes it climate smart. The green color is yellow. Then we have variety Akabe Naira. The yield potential is 1.9 tons per hectare. It takes 70 days to mature. It is drought tolerant with green color being yellow. For maize, this year we are showcasing all the four classes, maturity classes of maize varieties. That is the extra early, the early, the intermediate, and the late maturing maize varieties. Aside this, we are also showcasing maize hybrids that have key or important attributes. Here, for instance, we are showcasing five hybrid maize varieties that are tolerant to fall armyworm infestation. The key attribute of these fall armyworm tolerant maize hybrids are that even under fall armyworm infestation, you are able, the farmer is able to get use of about 6 to 6.6 tons per hectare. Which suggests that if a farmer is able to control the fall armyworm, he or she may get yields that are above 6.6 .6 tons per hectare and uh, yields that are as high as 7.6 tons per hectare. So we have five varieties of them. These varieties are recently released varieties and very soon the seeds will be available for uptake by farmers. Aside the fall armyworm tolerant maize hybrids, we are also showcasing maize hybrids that are high in pro-vitamin A. That is, they contain high levels of lysine and tryptophan. And these maize varieties, too, they are also high yielding with yield potentials all above 6 tons per hectare. And some of these maize hybrids, the pro-vitamin A maize hybrids, are also tolerant to multiple stresses. Some of them are tolerant to drought, others are tolerant to striga, and some of them are tolerant to both drought and striga. The intermediate and late maturing maize hybrids. We have about uh, uh, four of them that we are showcasing here. The yield potentials of these hybrids are very high. We have CSI Akbaruyura, for example, with a yield potential of nine tons per hectare. And these varieties are also tolerant to multiple stresses. The Technology Park also features a number of other innovations to address various farmer needs. In soybean production, our bundle approach combines certified seeds, recommended planting distances, and rhizobium inoculants, increasing yields by 30 to 40 percent. 
farmers can compare these improved agronomic practices with traditional methods and adopt the most effective solutions. We're also showcasing high-yielding crop varieties, such as Songotra tea, which delivers a potential yield of 2.5 tons per hectare and is resistant to the Maruka pod borer and striga. Additionally, we have improved varieties of cassava, sweet potato, and frafra potatoes, all developed to boost yields and improve resilience against pests, diseases, and climate variability. Through these and other technologies, Sari is empowering farmers to enhance their productivity, improve their livelihoods, and contribute to food and nutrition security in northern Ghana. Together, we are shaping the future of agriculture. We ginger da na to mum for seven no mum fla da so soon. This one no fla mum da one fla da so soon. Fla da la. Fla da ya. Yeah, yeah.